Hello everyone. Welcome to Stitch and Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Okay, today's video is not the norm. It's not crochet yumminess, but also I didn't want to get out of my happy place. So it's the same background. I didn't switch it up. I may record this again. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. This may or may not be the one that I post. So, okay. Anyway, um, for those of you who have, I been or watched my EG video at all or who, like know anything at all about my health struggles this may be something that you are into or interested in if not that's fine I understand I said it's not yarn related so just like I said in the other one if you don't want to watch it I totally understand so it's fine okay so I have really good news um, I'm trying to be really excited I'm also very 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 nervous my nervousness and anxiousness is very much so outweighing my excitement currently. But I have good news to share with you guys. Okay. So, as y'all know, I've been very sick for a long time. Um, I've been sick with this bout since November 2019. I'm trying really hard to, like, talk to y'all right now. My voice is not good today. So, um, I apologize if you can barely hear me. I really am trying. Okay, so, so I've been sick for a long time, been to doctors, no one's helped, been to gastroenterologists, all that. My primary care, it's like I just feel like I keep falling through the cracks. Um, he, as of last week, whenever I posted my EG story video, um, my doctor, my primary care doctor was supposed to send me to another gastroenterologist because the gastroenterologist he had just referred me to was the one that I had already seen and knows nothing at all about my disease. It's a very rare disease and I don't want to see anyone that doesn't know about it. I don't feel like that's too much to ask, but it seems to be. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I simply told him, you know, I don't want to see the same doctor that I've already seen. You know, I want to see someone that knows about it. I'm willing to travel. You know, I told him a couple doctors' names that I was willing to go to. Okay, so he's like, absolutely, you know, I'll refer you again. So he, um, I got the phone call earlier for my referral, and he referred me to the exact same group of doctors in the town, just right over the, like, same doctor that I saw the first time that, like, him and his colleagues knew nothing about it. That's who he sent me to this time. So I was very discouraged, very discouraged. I called my husband crying and just like, you know, I'm at the end of my rope. I'm at this brick wall. I'm, I feel like there's nowhere else for me to go. You know, like every time I feel like I'm getting somewhere, I'm just like, skirt, don't get to do it. So I'm like, okay, what do I do? I was crying to him, what do I do? Okay, so. Let me tell you how good my God has been, okay? So, you know, talk about God's timing. And I knew that. And that's why, you know, my mom and my husband keep telling me, you know, everyone's like, you know, you need to get help. You need to do something. You know, you're not going to make it. you got to be there for your kiddos. You know, you need to see a doctor that's going to help you. And I just kept telling him, well, it's like, you know, I keep trying to go to doctors, but they're not helping me. And I know that. God's timing. That's when this is gonna, you know, I can't force anything to happen, right? God, that's the one that can force it. It's the one who knows. So, I knew that. <clears throat> okay. So, like I said, I call my husband crying. He stops working what he's doing. Goes, um, looks on a website that I have been on a million times. I mentioned it in my video the other day. The Cured website. I mean, I've I've seen it. I've mentioned, you know, I've been there. Okay. So he got on there and um, it sent him to like a NORID or something like that website. It's like the national, I think maybe organization for rare disorders. I don't even know. Um, anyway, it sent him there and um, I saw just like a week ago that they found a medication that's already FDA approved that um people that's working with for people with eg 
which is very, very exciting. Okay, I had seen that. Anyway, uh, my husband, he said, looks on this website and sees that they're doing clinical trials. And it says, you know, the doctor's name that's doing them. Um, it says his email and a phone number. And my husband's like, call that phone number. And I'm like, okay. So I called the phone number because, I mean, I'm excited to just, you know, there's a possible, like a glimmer of hope. Okay. So I called the phone number. And he answers. I thought it was going to be like an automated phone, you know, an automated, like a hospital, automated, you know, hello, can we help you? Push one for blah, blah, blah. The man answered the phone. And it's like, hello. I'm like, oh, okay, it's probably the wrong number, you know. I'm like, oh, hello, you know, my name's Ashley, such and such. Um, I saw this phone number on the Cured website. I'm not sure if it's the right number. And he's like, yeah, that's, you know, you've got the right number. This is me. How can I help you? I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I tell him my issues. Um, he tells me that he said they're doing the study for the trial currently, that it's in phase two of, because like I said, it's already FDA approved, but it's in phase two of being approved for EG. Um, he said that the, the drug is, quote, very effective for that, okay? So because they said they're in phase two, still not like, it's not approved, obviously I can't just go to the doctor and get it, which I kind of thought maybe a week ago I thought was a possibility, now I know it's not a possibility. So anyway, okay, so um, I, like I said, he tells me it's in phase two, so therefore that means that if um, I were to be able like, to qualify for the case study, then there would only be a one in three chance that I would get the medication that the other, you know, two-thirds of the chance would be me getting placebo. It's a six-month study. I'd go once a month. So for six months, I may or may not be getting the medication. After that six months, however, I'm guaranteed to get the medication, and they've had success rates, like really good success rates. Okay. So he tells me that, he emails me his information, um, I, he then like contacts a few of his colleagues or whatever, this is like four or five different people I'm like emailing throughout the day, it's beyond, I can't wrap my brain around it because I mean before I couldn't even get my doctor, I said I'm a week out right now trying to just get fluids and now all of a sudden I have these four doctors that like know about my disease emailing me personally. Okay, so that doctor, like I said, I have his phone number. He's like, anything else? You have this phone number. I'm going to get you into contact with all these other people. Okay, fantastic. So <clears throat> the next to last person that I talked to told me that the they're calling them sites that you go get your testing. Okay, so the sites, there are two here in Oklahoma. Um... There's one in Louisiana and one in Texas. She told me that the two in Oklahoma, one of them is a pediatric center. One of them has had no cases of EG. So they have the capabilities to do the testing, to do everything. But I would be like, not only would I be getting picking like <laughs> the medicine, like wondering if that works. Also, I would be their first patient. So, the woman tells me that, she told me that, you know, yeah, but you'll be the first one, so you could go to Louisiana or you could go to Texas. These are your options. So, it's like, okay, so do what any normal person does in 2021. I Google the places in Texas and the places in Louisiana. The place in Louisiana has outstanding service, like five stars. Like, where do you see that with a doctor? Okay, they have five stars. So, I'm like, okay, I tell her. I prefer the place in Louisiana. I don't mind traveling. This is like, it's nine hours from where, nine and a half from where I am to get to where this place is. I'm desperate. I will drive. I do not care. <laughs> okay, so anyway, she gets me on the phone. It's going to be kind of a long one. I'm trying to smoosh it. She gets me on the phone with like the main lady there um, who's been at this for 22 years. 
she's been like researching doing this sort of thing for 22 years so they've came across this medicine that is like kind of like a miracle drug for people with EG she currently has 11 patients um, 11 she's been doing this for 22 years she has 11 studies going on right now that's how rare this is so whenever my whole life all these doctors have been telling me I'm a medical anomaly and they're like this there's no way that you can hurt here and hurt here there's no way that you can take this medicine and it does this it's not possible and I'm like I've lived here in this body my whole entire life I know what does something you know like if I do this and it does this I know that because I live in here you know like I you'll meet doctors and talk to them for 15 minutes and they'll tell you oh there's no way and I'm sitting here telling them, like, you know, maybe in your medical book, there's no way. I'm sitting here telling you. <laughs> it happened to me. It's real. This happened. You know, I did this and this happened. I ate this and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it happened. You know, I have no reason to, like, come in fibbing about some ridiculous thing. Anyway. So, it's like it all makes sense now. And it's so cool. So I'm so excited to go and have people who know about it actually listen to me. It's like this blessing because all these people just like that don't at all know. So it's crazy. So okay, so she like said has seen 11 patients. She I she asks me. She's like, okay, well in order to do it, you're gonna have to do an endoscopy, and I'm like, because I was like, you know, I already had one in February and October. And she's like, okay, but, you know, they want you to do ones that that way that you're, you know, the same doc, the same doctor looks at your imaging every single time. And then they know, which, how amazing would that be? So I'm like, okay. So she's like, you know, we want to do that to see if you have, you know, eosinophilic esophagitis or eosinophilic gastroenteritis. She starts explaining it. And I'm like, I've already, you know, been diagnosed with both. She's like, oh, okay. So... And then she's like, well, do you have, you know, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Do you have, like, all of these symptoms? And I'm like, yeah, every single one of those. Oh, okay. She's like, well, you would be perfect for this study. She's like, I need you down here. And I'm like, you don't understand. Like, I need you. Like, we need each other, okay? So, anyway. So, my first... Screw like my first day, my first day or whatever, whenever I go. Um, they're gonna do like I said the endoscopy. They're gonna do a lot of screening. I'm gonna get labs and EKGs. They're gonna do like a whole bunch of different tests. Um, and then for the next four weeks after that, two weeks in between, like I think I skip a week and have blood work. Skip another week, have blood work, to see like where my body's at, to see if I'm capable of taking the medicine, basically. In between that four week time, I'm supposed to take a diary of my symptoms, of like my bloating, my pain, my nausea, my all of those things. I like write everything down, which honestly, that's what this little book right here is. Like, this is time that's not happening yet, but that's what all of like this is like my food diary. So, I've already kind of been doing that. Um, okay, so oh gosh, so anyway, so like I said, so I do the diary thing, whatever. So I'm thinking during all this that they're like, it's a pill, right? So I'm like, okay, you know, I'll go up there and get approved and everything will be great. And I'll come home with a pill and I'll be able to just take it and feel better and it's effective and it's going to be awesome. So I've like really got my hopes up. I'm like ecstatic calling my mom, calling my dad, like so happy at this point. I finally talked to this final lady. She informs me that it's an IV medication, which isn't a big deal. That's fine. Um, it, she said the first dose will take over four hours, that it'll take at least four hours for it to, like, go, like, for me to take the medicine, and then they observe me, observe me for an hour after, so I'll be there at least five hours. And then, like I said, that's for, you know, the first time, for the first six months, I may or may not get the medicine. After that, I definitely get the medicine. So I'm like, okay, that's great. 
after that six month period, how long do I have to take the medicine for? Because I'm, you know, like I said, once again, I'm like, okay, you know, a few shots or a few, you know, IV thing, whatever, that sucks. But okay, you know, she tells me from here on out. So, <laughs> so it's good because I'm ready to feel better. I'm over this. I can't do this anymore. Like I physically can't do it anymore. My body is like, my kidneys are not good. My liver is not good. I bruise like crazy. I mean, my body is like, I'm afraid my body is shutting down. So I feel like this is like, so once again, all God's timing. This is where I'm supposed to be. However, that means that I'll be going to Louisiana once a month for the next foreseeable future. Um, I asked her if once I like got in there, if it was possible to transfer everything else back to Oklahoma, and she said she didn't know. So she's going to look into that and see if that's a possibility. I have no idea, like... If it is a possibility. Also, I feel like I should mention that because it's um, a medical trial that they're going to pay for my expenses. So it's like it's not it going to cost me anything to take it. They pay for my travel. Um, they kept mentioning like flying up there, but with COVID and with as sick as I am, my the last thing I want to do is get on a plane. I'm nervous enough stopping and getting gas somewhere. So I really don't want to get on the plane right now. Like eventually maybe, but right now no. So, um, but anyway, like I said, any of my travel expenses, they'll reimburse me for. So, like I said, maybe sometimes we'll fly and sometimes we'll drive. I don't know. Um, it's all, this is brand new. I mean, I don't even know. And I made, like I said, another video, but it was all over the place. And this one's probably all over the place because I'm just still kind of in shock. I'm in shock that it's, like, even a thing that, like, I have a I have hope now. There's like a light at the end of the tunnel. But also, this whole time, like I said, I just kind of thought it was a, like a pill form, which was my own, my own fault. That's why I don't assume anything, right? I know what to say about that. So, I knew better than to assume anything. So, if I decide to do it, that's the only thing. It'll be like a four-hour endeavor every month for the foreseeable future. Long time. So, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see what happens and all that. Um, I'll let you guys know what else I hear. Like I said, I had another video that I had made. Like I said, with the Dollar Tree haul, it was like almost 30 minutes again. And also, I still thought it was a pill at that time. I didn't know it was all this. So, yeah. I just wanted to be like, put out the right info before I just put it out there. You know what I mean? It's okay. Thank you guys so much. Everyone who's been praying and everyone who's been thinking of me. You guys have no idea how much it means. Your prayers and your thoughts. And my family's prayers and their thoughts are working. God is moving mountains. Oops. It's gonna be okay. I thank you guys all. I love every one of you that prayed and that have thought of me. You have no idea. It's a big day, but it's it's a lot to take in. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you guys so much. So, so much. I'll talk to you guys really soon.